Did you see Twitch's new changes to sponsored streams? Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about that. I forgot. They they announced that today. Here. So, in a nutshell, it's kind of like an extension of the bounty board, as I understand it. So, streamers can get brand deals through Twitch, and it'll, like, integrate easier, I guess. And then the brands can also pay for subs, uh, which is very silly. Uh, a little bit of advice to any streamers considering this. Don't let any brand pay you in subs. Then you're just splitting 50% of the money with Twitch. And Twitch is already taking some off the top by curating these deals in the first place before giving them to you. So you're giving them even more pieces of the pie. I mean, it's a great, terrible idea from Twitch. <laughs> I mean, it's a... Uh... As far as horrible ideas go, it's another good one to add to the pile. I can almost see a use for a couple of cases. Like, if a streamer doesn't have any way of reaching a company, or a company doesn't have any way of reaching a streamer, I guess they could go through Twitch for this and do it, and get something. But it'll be a fraction of what the actual cost would be, or the actual payment would be, if they did get it themselves. Thanks for your sub, Mishi, Crytek, and Ball. Do I use the bounty board at all? No. Bounty board is a terrible idea. Anyone who has access to the bounty board should just look on there if they need a brand deal, see who's interested, and reach out to them yourself. Because Twitch takes the lion's share of those deals. So the percentage you get from those deals is horrible. You think it'd be helpful for a new affiliate? That's what I'm saying. I think the only use, like the only practical use of this would be for someone who doesn't have any way of reaching out to sponsors or vice versa, and they do want to do sponsored content, then they can just go through Twitch for it and just relinquish like 50% of the money they would normally make off of it, just for ease. Is it resub average? Stream Elements does this for smaller creators already and doesn't take nearly as much as Twitch plans to. I, I don't know a whole ton about Stream Elements to be fair, so if this is something they're already doing, then yeah, you're probably better off just going through them. Uh, I think this is, this idea is just terrible, by the way. If you're doing a brand deal and you're brand partner is offering to pay you in gift subs decline that shit ASAP just take the actual payout as opposed to then splitting your payment with Twitch even further it's just silly Asmongold worked on Twitch worked with Twitch on this that I don't know if you're making a meme or not what then what is the idea behind it to sink Twitch even further into bad updates? Because, again, I only see one use for this, and it's for streamers that want in like ease of a sponsorship without caring about payment. But if you don't care about payment, why are you doing a sponsorship in the first place? It wouldn't make any sense. Asmin didn't work on this with them. It's just that the CEO talked about it with him at dinner. Ah, gotcha. To me, that sounds like, hey, Asmin, we're going to be rolling this out. Do you have any advice? And maybe he lended some advice. I would have thought streamers have managers to get sponsored. A lot of them do, but not all of them. And like I said, this would be for streamers that don't have a manager, don't have any way of reaching out to a sponsor, and also don't want to 
So they could just go through Twitch for it and just sacrifice a large percentage of what they would normally make from it. So that would be the only use. Otherwise, I don't see anyone using this. Great way for exposure for someone new. Sponsored streams are terrible for exposure. What are you talking about? Is Risa Gucci and Dawson? <laughs> In tier one shorty. The resub, right? Depends on the sponsor. No, no I, I mean, I guess maybe like if the it's early access sponsoring, then that could be good for exposure. But on the whole, like, what what, what was a recent? Someone was recently sponsored by Crime Boss Rock Hay City. I think it was Lyric. I think chat told me Lyric did it. So I imagine, I don't know what the viewership was, I would wager a guess lower than usual. Not only is the game bad, it's a game nobody cared about, nobody gave a fuck about. So imagine that goes through Twitch and you take that deal while well, you're getting significantly less payment for the sponsored stream because Twitch is taking a huge cut and your viewers don't want to watch it anyway. So you're not even getting like the full amount that you are worth and you're sacrificing a, the whole stream viewership for it. I just don't see that being a good play for exposure if that was the plan. Now, if they're getting, like, drops or something, like early access sponsors, then you can make an argument for exposure, sure. I think there's resub Forza and Carly. Watch Asman's video Twitch about this. I'll take a peek. I'm very curious to see his perspective on it, if he thinks it's a good idea, because I, I legitimately can't see it. That has well, literally nothing to do with it. I'm I don't think that's the argument, though. Because, like, you know. But but it, are people under the impression that they're going to take existing subs? I mean, one, they already do. It's 50%. It's a 50% split coming up. So they already take from the existing subs. But the, the whole thing is one of their statements is you can now have the brand sponsor gift subs. So they will pay for your community's gift subs, which is supposed to be money that they would be paying you for doing the sponsored stream, but now it's being split with Twitch because they're doing gift subs for the money would be the problem. So they're taking 50% of the payment that you should be getting for doing the sponsored stream, which is a stupid idea. I don't think it's anyone thinking they're taking from unrelated subs. I don't think that's what people are assuming. Maybe they are, and I don't didn't see it, but that'd be a silly thing to think. But... Yeah. Uh, it has nothing to do with it. That's not well, the whole thing... I, 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 don't, I don't know what he was reading on Twitter. That's probably the worst place to look for, like, actual conversation. With Twitch curating the deals, they're already taking a percentage of the sponsorship for bringing it to you. The same way, like, an agency does. That's what they do with the bounty board, and that's exactly what they do with this, obviously. They wouldn't just be giving this to you for free. So they're already taking a percentage. And then to incentivize the companies to pay through gift subs is taking an even bigger percentage of the payment that you should be getting, is the thing. Hey, Ken. Hope you've been well, man. Thanks, Risa, Brando, Topsy, and Very. Do you think this will cause a big exodus to YouTube? This change in particular? No, absolutely not. The 50-50 split will already has started taking at least some level of effect for example i'm not going to be exclusive on twitch once my contract runs out i, I will absolutely multi-stream there's there'd be literally no reason to be exclusive on twitch anymore and i imagine the vast majority of people on twitch will too it'd just be silly too so that this i don't think is going to have any effect on people like leaving or anything but the sub-split and the more intrusive ads and the higher reliance on ads absolutely has and will continue to take a big effect on people streaming here. Here's the Prime Peanut. And the Bits Tori. 
Will they be combined on Chatterino, Tori? It combines them both. If you're starting on Twitch, should you multi-stream or just stick to Twitch? Nope, multi-stream. 100%. Are you allowed to multi-stream? I thought you couldn't at the same time. They lifted the restriction. The only people that can't multi-stream on Twitch are the ones with um, more of like bespoke contracts. Those are the only people that can't multi-stream. They lifted the, re the restriction on partnered accounts, so now partners can multi-stream. I think, right? Didn't that go into effect? No, you can't multi-stream at the same time? Here, let me look it up. Because they made a change to that partner clause. Let's see. Twitch allows partners to stream on rival platforms. Is this where it talks about the multi-streaming, though? Here, we'll just go to the actual Twitch FAQs. Uh, I see. So it has to be a different stream. I misremembered. I thought it was you were able to multi-stream now. You can't. Okay. Well, regardless, there's no reason to be a partner anymore after the 50-50 split. So it'd probably be worthwhile just to relinquish partnership, go to affiliate, and then stream a uh, simul stream. There's literally no benefit to being a partner after the 50-50 split. So it'd be a negligible thing. Ninja multi-streams, though. Isn't he an affiliate, though? I thought he lost his partnership because he wanted to do that. Because he was streaming on, like, everything ever, so I thought they had a problem with it. Io, what's going on? Io. Is there some wolf? Let's see. Is Ninja still a partner on Twitch? Ninja is not. He's an affiliate. So, yeah. It looks like you just have to relinquish partnership to simul stream, which is absolutely worth it since there's no benefit to being a partner. The 70 30 is gone. Everything 50 50. Just stay affiliate. Simul stream. Things are subgalactic and eternal. When you lose some emotes? I'm not sure. How many emotes do affiliates get? That's a good question. I guess maybe if affiliates don't get access. I thought all the emotes were sub-based, but maybe you're right. Maybe it is partner-based as well. No sub button. Nope, you still get a sub button as an affiliate. Ninja is not an affiliate because he does not have a sub button. Oh, interesting then. He's a tier one Cobra. Lose most of your emotes, but then again, everyone uses 7 TV now. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Either way, though, this change is worthless for the vast majority of users, I would imagine. I think most people would probably just reach out to the companies that are interested in this in the first place personally, so that way they can get more out of the sponsorship as opposed to splitting so much of it with Twitch. Unless they really just want the ease of a sponsorship. Is reaching out to a company and getting a sponsor that easy? Depends on the company. For like some of the games that advertise through the bounty board, absolutely. Because these, a lot of these are not huge studios. 
or huge agencies doing these deals. So you could probably personally reach out to them, but most of the time they'll just go through an agent.